Well, hello again. Um, what's been happening? Well, as you can see, well, you might be able to see, we're a bit stripped down. There's a new motor in there. Um, and also a new 3-in-1 reduction gearbox. Lots of bits by the side. And there's, um, sorry, I'm getting lots of shadow on that picture. I'll try to... Uh, Bring it down a bit. Yep, there's wires everywhere. There's my uh, crane somewhat uh, separated from the uh, unit. A blooming great hole in the steel plate. And what have I been working on? Well, putting a switch uh, in the Transformer box and a nice rotating light on the top. Um, that's the old motor. What else have we got underneath here? Right, what we've got, apart from bits that we can throw away. Um, new wiring harness. Uh, basically this goes between the uh, this end goes to the uh, receiver, which is currently out of its box. And this end here goes to the crane. And this here is a little radio control receiver. Uh, and the idea of that is so that we don't have to use this. Right, well as you may know, if you operate the crane, uh, on some models you can operate the crane on the right hand side of your uh, radio control unit and on some you operate it, if you bought it separately, by using this little uh, tiny hand remote control which is a bit of a pain because you have to try and push buttons with your fingernails and hold them down. It takes quite a uh, bit of getting used to. Anyway, I like controlling my crane on the right hand side of my radio control. But I've now bought this piece, and it is also operated either by that little remote control or you can operate it on the right hand side of your main RC. Well, I thought I want to switch between these two and I don't want to have to plug and unplug things. So what I've done is I've bought a couple of these little units and they've got a relay on them. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire the crane on the normally open um, part of the relay. So unless I push a button, it won't operate the crane. And on the missile unit, what I'll do on that is I'll wire the radio on a missile unit to the normally closed side of another of these units. And then I'll put the remote control inside, which is sort of stripped down. Looks like this. That's the... Uh, little chip circuit. I'll put that inside my RC transmitter and I'll connect it up to a little momentary push switch and then I'll set both the little receivers for this to toggle so that when I push this green switch the idea is that I press it once and I'm operating the crane. I press it a second time and the crane is disconnected and I'm then operating the missile launcher. And that way I can keep all of my control on my main RC transmitter and I don't have to use this silly little thing at all. So, that's what I'm up to. Right, well, almost finished the automatic switchover between the missiles and the crane. And uh, just got to uh, stuff all this uh, wiring into the box so that's the uh, 
fiber optic LEDs and this little wiring loom and the small receiver which is operated by the push button on my uh, main RC unit and that does an automatic switch over between the crane and the missiles. Uh, so I think I can possibly demonstrate that for you. If I can get everything in the same shot. Oops, there's the button I put onto the um, little button I put onto the top of my uh, transmitter. The light's showing there on the missile unit and the crane in the distance. So if I press this, we switch to the crane. And if I press it a second time, we switch to the missiles. So crane, missiles. And that basically switches over the whole of the RC so that uh, the RC, when it's on the crane, will rotate the crane on this lever. What would do if I turn the um, transmitter on? Rotate the crane. And if I press the button, We'll rotate the missiles. So there we go. So all I need to do now is just to um, stick that into the uh, stick that into the box. So a good day, I think. A good day. Right, I'll catch you guys soon. Take care.